Hey, what's this piece of paper stuck? It's a recipe for a drink called Tri Island Tuna Colada. Looks complicated. Oh, it's complicated. Must take long. Can you make one of these? A Tri Island Tuna Colada? Arr, that takes me back. I haven't made one of these since I was a bosun under Captain Bo. But can you make one? I'm really in the mood. Aye, but it'll take some doing to scrounge up the ingredients. Take your time. I'll just put this here for safekeeping. Done! One Tri Island Tuna Colada. Now I can get back to me darts. Arr! Libations! Ah, gimme! Morgan! What do you think you're doing? Don't ask me! Ask your crazy wife! I'm gonna run you through, you high seas hussy! Um. Ladies, please. There's plenty of Guybrush Threepwood to go around. Well, that won't be when I'm done with ya. Get over yourself, Threepwood. Oh. Yikes. Elaine, Tuckle Bear. Morgan's all bark and no bite. You want bite? Uh, you got it. And I'll throw in the bark for free. Yeah. Oh. Huh? oh, yeah. Good for nothing, oh, Woods. Getting yeah. in the way of my killing. You are formally summoned to appear before the court of Judge Grindstump in the case of the people of Flotsam versus Guybrush Threepwood. Mighty Pirate. TM. Phew. Now I know who wears the daddy pants in the relationship. You stay away from my boy's pants or I'll hang you from my Jolly Roger, you Jezebel. <laughs> and you, don't think you can totter around with some tart and not get a fistful of war. She's a catch. And conveniently, not a rotten double-crosser. I told you I had a job to do. Sure, just doing your job. Tell me, aside from all the silver, how are the benefits? Guybrush. Do you get health care for the repetitive stress injuries yeah, caused by all the it. backstabbing and cutting off people's hands? I said I was sorry. Sorry? I can't pick my left nostril without risking a lobotomy. What if I... What if nothing? Goodbye, Morgan. I've got a wife to cure and an island to save. Mrs. Threepwood. Hmm. I'd like a second to think about my next move, Your Honor. Make it fast! Your character witness is oozing all over my courtroom! Honey, look! They confiscated your ring! You let someone take it from you? Didn't I tell you never to let it out of your sight? Yeah, but... But me no buts, love of mine. Your Honor, Buccaneers of Flotsam, you all believe that I, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, have brought this horrible pox to your shores. Off with it, Run him off the plank! Eat this jungle beast! What if I were to tell you that I could tame this unruly witness, prove my good intentions, and begin the process of curing you all of this hideous voodoo pox, all in one fell swoop? Hmm, this is uh, I don't know. Eat it to the jungle beast! Your Honor, I object. Defense is grasping at sponge-shaped straws here. Denied! Sure. But get on with it, Captain! The hangman gets overtime if we keep him up after midnight! With pleasure, Your Honor. Wenches and pirates, I give you Exhibit S, the wonder of La Esponja Grande. I thought it'd be bigger. Now behold, as a simple exfoliating motion of La Esponja Grande washes away the pox, restoring my wife to her usual mostly pleasant demeanor. Mm, noted. Arr! Sugar cakes? Off with it, head! Get that piece of seaweed off me, you deep sea doily diver! Um. Does the defense have any other pointless arguments it would like to make? Uh, this is sort of all I got. Then, 
By the power vested in me by the put upon pirates of Flotsam Island, I summarily sentence you to be hanged by your pox spreading neck until you oh, are right there. What? What? What is the meaning of this? My name is Lechuk, and I can tell you exactly what Guybrush did. Lechuk? I thought he was a ghost. I heard he was a zombie. Uh, don't listen to him. You see, Your Honor, the pox is all my fault. Listen to him. <laughs> for decades, I dabbled in the dark forces of voodoo, clamoring for power. I hungered for it. I yearned for it. I pillaged, plundered, and killed for it. I can attest to all of this. And it was my accumulated voodoo that infected you all. Dark, evil voodoo that was explosively released when I was once again defeated by the perpetually heroic Guybrush Threepwood. He's not kidding. I've killed him, like, five times. So you see, Guybrush Threepwood is not the source of this pox. I am. And I hereby throw myself upon the mercy of this court, or lack thereof. Off with your head! But wait, there's more! It turns out I had an unknown silent power urging me down those darkened voodoo corridors. A power far more insidious than I could ever hope to be. I submit to the court this journal, property of the Wyatt up there! <laughs> the voodoo lady! Ooh, that creepy lady who lives in the shack? What the what? In these pages, you will find detailed plans laid out by the voodoo lady over the course of many years to manipulate my never-ending rise to power. My hunger for voodoo, my seemingly endless cycle of ironically comical death and disturbing resurrection, my obsession with the darling Elaine. It's all because of her. Off with her head! Lead to the jungle beast! <laughs> It can't be true, can it? Order! Order! I hereby call for the release of Guybrush Threepwood and the immediate imprisonment of LeChuck and the Voodoo Lady! To the brig with both of them! Oh, I better not to me I catch all this land-loving lollygagging! I'm off to plunder me some treasure! Don't worry about me, my friend. Go cure your wife! Well, I'm finally free, but now my pox-crazed wife is nowhere to be found, a mad scientist is hunting her for who knows what reason, and the legendary voodoo sponge that was supposed to cure her has turned out to be useless. Under normal circumstances, I'd ask the voodoo lady for help, but she's sitting in the jail cell next to my archenemy, who may or may not be my best friend, after it's been revealed that she's been the secret power behind most of my travails over most of my life as a pirate. Maybe I should have been a beekeeper like my Uncle Sid. That's a pretty great summer. Hey, you! Hello, Treepwood. You sent me on a wild albatross chase for La Esponja Grande and promised me it would cure the pox. But after fending off sexually ambiguous merpeople, a giant manatee, and your crazy ex-boyfriend, what do I get for my trouble? This sorry excuse for a kitchen sponge. La Esponja. Ah, I noticed you strategically left out the Grande from this worthless piece of junk. Once it cured my piddly leftover pox, it didn't have enough mojo left to cure Elaine. It's not worthless. It is merely... young. It must be brought to maturity in order to reach its voodoo-absorbing potential. Brought to maturity? How am I supposed to do that? Give it a talk about the sponge birds and sponge bees? <laughs> like all infants, La Esponja <laughs> needs hilarious. nourishment. It must be fed six special voodoo courses to bring it to adult size. What sort of meal is that? A feast for the senses. The menu, Treepwood. Take it, and serve the sponge a meal unlike any other. And then, it will grow. Hey, neat! There's a map of the Flotsam Jungle on the cover. No more listening to bees and birds and boars for this mighty pirate.
Well, that's odd. I better fold this up before I put it in my pocket. Hard feelings over all those various civil and criminal charges? Water under the bridge. Great. A bridge with a fast talking shyster slash salesman dangling from it. Mm -hmm. What kind of souvenirs could you possibly be making out of the Voodoo Lady and LeChuck? Oh, ye of little faith! Feast your eyes on the all-new People vs. LeChuck and the Voodoo Lady Collection! What's that? It's my entrancing Voodoo Lady dashboard good luck charm. Huh. Uh, disturbing. What's that one? That's our cursed cutlass of Kaflu LeChuck doll. Press the button for its special transforming glow. What's happening? Uh, it's a little bright. Yeah. We're still working out a few kinks. On second thought, say no more. I don't suppose you'd be willing to sell me your eye-bending jacket. Give up my jacket? It'd be like Samson getting a buzz cut, or King Arthur losing Excalibur, or Bluebeard dying himself blonde. Uh-huh. Without my jacket, my salesman Mojo would wither away faster than a hothouse orchid in a pizza oven. So, that's a maybe? Have you seen my wife? Have I? That crazy sea devil hit me up for one of my patented and perfectly passable porcelain power pirate treasure maps, before hightailing it for the jungle. If we're lucky, that thing will keep her going around in circles for weeks. Something sure shoved a short sword up his aft sail. for all the trouble found Jacques he told me what he told me what what did the monkey tell you Singe. 
It's locked. Oh, no. This is where the Marquis keeps all the severed limbs of the pirates he's operated on. Hmm. Hey, you never know when a sack of severed legs is going to come in handy. Or footy, as the case may be. Sorry. It looks like the singe is using my hand to make something called the jus de vie. Name of Bluebeard's hair dye. Hey, no poaching. I have called dips. I think I may be lost. Shouldn't there be a creepy voodoo shack right about there? There was. Until they came to arrest that pox spreading voodoo lady. What happened? First came the flames. Poor Senor Nipperkin went up like St. Elmo's fire. Then she emerged from the conflagration, mumbling ancient curses with every regal step. I never forget the baleful stare she fixed me with as she was left. Well, I look condemning me to a lifetime of suffering, shame, and regret. Spooky. And if that wasn't bad enough, I, I haven't found one bit of cool voodoo stuff in the wreckage. Come on! Mob justice can be so unfair. Looks like the light of the shack's embers has attracted a swarm of jungle moths. That probably explains what happened to the voodoo lady's rug. Whoa! Uh-oh. Looks like these finicky moths won't eat a jacket that's encrusted with bacon grease, fish water, and manatee guts. Lucky me. little fellas, check out these high-def duds. Well, that's just great. The lamp's dead. Well, at least Stan's sign is keeping the moths from returning to the jungle. Stan! Guybrush! Can I take another look at your voodoo lady and the Chuck Goo Gaws? Can't keep your eyes off him, huh? What's that one? That's our cursed cutlass of Kaflu, the Chuck doll. Press the button for its special transforming glow. What's happening? Uh, it's a little bright. Yeah, we're still working out a few kinks. Hey, now, what's this? A fuzzy flying fan club? Ah! Hey, knock it off, you nutty nibblers! That, ah! That hurts! Sweet, ah! Fancy! Ah! Moses! Well, that 
was one heck of an experience, eh, Threepwood? It's a good thing old Stan always keeps a few spare jackets in the back office, or I'd be defending my clients in the all together. Say, that's not a bad idea. Stan S. Stan Man, naked attorney at law. You've <laughs> yeah. got nothing to hide, no. and neither does he. Um... No time to chat, Threepwood. I've got business cards to print. Sweet. You know, when I dreamed of becoming a mighty pirate, I never imagined that one day I'd be tying eye-popping napkins around the non-existent necks of mystical sponges. That's look It's like a whole new map now. Let's see what. Hey, you again. Hello, Treepwood. About this feast for the senses, what would you like to know? The antipasta? Explain. With a table set, a powerful aroma must encourage the appetite to grow. I think my nose has been in shock since traversing the inside of a manatee. I'm sure you will find something. All right, enough about the feast for now. Try not to get executed before I cure Elaine. As you wish. What's that artistic abomination? Ah, that be a painting of Flotsam Island's notorious jungle beast, painted by our own Hemlock McGee. Hemlock? Really? Aye! No one knows more about our legendary beastie than old Hemlock. Ouch! to eternal life. Le spectre ah, de Grand César! <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look like Elaine's in any immediate danger. Hopefully she won't commit any unforgivable atrocities before I finish enlarging my pox-curing sponge.
Jungle Fireflies, Nature's Little Spotlights. The fireflies are attracted to the sugar water on the leg. Fascinating. And just a little nauseating. I don't know about mythical jungle beasts, but I always prefer my ritual sacrifices to be slathered in sugar water. Uh-oh. <laughs> I've lost that she devil. <laughs> Ouch, that's gotta hurt. Serves him right though. Still, I'd better finish feeding the sponge before Elaine hurts someone I actually care about. The mighty pirate hunter tracks his prey via his distinctive firefly attracting spore. <laughs> That's the legendary jungle beast of Flotsam Island? Nom nom nom. Oh, look at that. The poor hideous flesh-eating plant is a smelly rotting lion's paw caught in its teeth. Um, thorns. Hold still, little buddy. I'll get that nasty old hunk of meat out for- Yikes! That doesn't need to be illuminated. Hmm. Here, boy! That looks uncomfortable, but at least he's not snapping at me anymore. Don't worry, you freakish little abomination. Dr. Guybrush will make it all better. Gotcha! You. That is by far the foulest thing I've ever smelled in all my years of pirating. And that's coming from a guy who's just spent a few days inside a giant manatee. Oh, fair enough. Let's just feed the Come on, little sponge. Eat the nice, smelly anti pasta. That's a good sponge. <laughs> I better fold this up before I put it in my pocket. Yeah, yeah. 